Welcome to another edition of Hayward Product Training. Today we will cover proper cleaning of Hayward's turbo cell for salt chlorine generators. For optimum T cell operation and life expectancy, you will need to inspect your T cell approximately every three months of operation, or 500 hours, and clean the cell if necessary. However, cell cleaning frequency is dependent on several factors. pH and calcium levels in the water are the two that have the greatest effect on how often the cell requires cleaning. Maintaining pH between the recommended levels of 7.2 to 7.8, as well as keeping the calcium level between 200 and 400 parts per million, should result in the cell only needing to be cleaned three to four times a year. The Hayward Control will automatically remind you when it is time to clean the cell with the check system light being lit, and when you scroll through the default menu, you will see Inspect Cell. For the Aquarite Pro, Press the Info button to access the default menu to view the Inspect Cell notification. If using a T-cell in conjunction with an Aquarite, the Inspect Cell LED will be lit after 500 hours of operation. To begin, turn off the circulation pump. This can be accomplished at the control and if you have a standalone Aquarite at the time clock or on-off switch. Next, turn off the power to the control box or breaker panel. Unplug the cell from the Hayward Control or Aquarite. Keep in mind the only portion of the T-cell and cell cable that is not waterproof is the end of the cord that attaches to the control. Now remove the cell from the plumbing by unthreading the unions on both sides of the cell. The unions unthread in opposite directions of each other. They unthread counterclockwise. We are now ready to begin the cleaning process. First note the calcium deposits inside the cell. Start by rinsing out the cell with a garden hose to remove any coarse debris or deposits that may be present. Be careful to keep the cord's plug-in dry. Next, it is extremely important to note that proper eye protection and protective gloves need to be used while chemically cleaning the T-cell. In addition, make sure the procedures are done in a well-ventilated area outdoors. Make sure to keep a water supply handy to dilute any solution that might spill. Follow the chemical manufacturer's recommendations for proper storing or disposing of the water acid solution. Muratic acid can cause severe injury, burns, and respiratory problems if not handled properly. Please refer to the acid manufacturer's directions for safe handling. To make the acid solution, Mix one part muratic acid to four parts tap water in a clean plastic bucket or jug. It is extremely important to always add acid to the water and never add the water to the acid. One way to remember this is that you would never try to add the entire pool into the bottle of acid. Next, screw the cell to the Hayward cell cleaning stand hand tight. Make sure the end where the cord is connected is facing down as shown. This will assure that the contact points inside the cell come in contact with the cleaning solution. Stand the cell and cleaning stand up vertically as shown. Begin to fill the cell with the acid and water solution, being careful to pour the solution in slowly to avoid breathing any vapors exiting the cell. The level of the solution should be slightly over the product label along with covering the cell's internal blades. Allow the solution to remain in the cell for approximately 15 minutes or until the fizzing and bubbling action stops. When complete, pour the remaining solution in the cell back into the mixing bucket or jug and rinse out the cell again with a garden hose. The water muratic acid mixture can be stored for later use or it can be disposed of. Follow the chemical manufacturer's recommendation for proper storing or disposing of the water acid solution. Next, reinstall the cell into the plumbing unions. It does not matter which end goes towards the equipment or towards the pool. Now plug in the cable to the chlorinating unit. You will need to reset the 500 hour timer and clear the inspect cell message or LED. To do this, press the plus button during the inspect cell display on the Hayward Control and Aquarite Pro or hold the diagnostic button in for three seconds if using an Aquarite system. This concludes our explanation of how to properly clean your Hayward turbo cell. 
Please check back frequently for additional how-to maintenance and troubleshooting videos for your Hayward pool equipment.